Don't half-ass it. Don't half-ass it. Boy, that never goes out of style, does it? I mean, think about it. If you're gonna do something, if you've chosen to do something, whatever it is, easy, hard, if you give it your all and you don't half-ass it, win, lose, draw, get what you want, don't get what you want, whatever the outcome is, if you don't half-ass it, at least you're not gonna have to wonder, ooh, would the outcome have been different? What if I did give it my all? And boy, wondering that is what keeps us up at night. And the other thing that's so interesting about being alive is that you're all in. No matter what you do, you're all in. This is gonna kill you. So I think you might as well play the most magnificent game you can while you're waiting. Because do you have anything better to do? Really? Why not pick the best thing possible that you could do? Why not do that? Maybe you could justify your wretched existence to yourself that way. I think you could. That's what it looks like. You know, people find such meaning in the responsibilities they adopt, it stops making them ask questions about what life is for. Whenever I'm down, I'm like, oh, hang on, motherfucker. Oh, you know, you know the truth. You know the truth. You know the darkness of the fucking dungeons and the fucking demons that fly. You know. And then from there, it's like, oh, okay. You were there. You know this. There was no one there to pick up the rucksack, to pick up the boat, to pick up the log, to go in there. It was you. It was you. There was no pat in the fucking back at 300, at, at 275, at 250, at 220. No, that was you. So those things that come out of me, that extract from me in the darkness, people are looking for that pat on the back. Where is it? Oh, I don't need it. Because what I've done is in the fucking unseen work I built Frankenstein. So whenever shit gets nasty, David Goggins goes, we had nobody anyway, motherfucker. So see how I'm talking myself right now? That's me. That shit fires me the fuck up. That shit makes me fucking nuts. We had nobody anyway, motherfucker. Look around you. There was no fucking team. It was you. There was no weight loss program or mom and dad waking you up saying you can do it, you can be better, trying to build belief. You built belief when you had nothing. Rock bottom. You did that. So as times get hard for me, the truth comes out. And my truth is powerful as a fuck. I want everything to be perfect before something happens. That's how I am. I want everything to be, look, as soon as everything gets all lined up, gets all perfect, then this will happen. What I'm saying is I'm always I'm uh, I'm always waiting for everything to be perfect before I live my life. I'm always waiting for everything to be perfect before I live my life. As soon as these things line up, I'm going to live my life. You know, Dustin Poirier noticed that about me. And he said to me point blank he said, "Hey man, you can't wait for everything to be perfect to start living your life. You can't wait for everything to be perfect to start living your life. And that hit me. I mean, he packs a powerful punch and that mug, he, damn, he hit me with a damn word punch, you know, with a word hook. Cause I've, I bet that's what I've done. My whole life has been like that. Inside of me, it has been. As soon as it's all lined up, I'm gonna show you myself. As soon as I've got it all looking the way I want, I'm gonna show up for you and for me. See the thing about life. We're gonna die, right? Eventually we're gonna die. But our legacy can live on. The impact can be non-perishable forever. But it's gotta be built right. And we gotta take advantage of the time we have right now. If you want it bad enough, you find a way. If you don't want it bad enough, you find an excuse. Don't be mad when you're laying there in your fucking bed and you're in the fucking hospital and you're 70, 80, 90 years old and you're thinking, yeah, I feel like I didn't fucking do something. 
Because you did. You didn't do it. You didn't do shit. You may live a great life, man, but you're always going to feel empty inside. I don't feel empty. So call me what you want. There's not one empty bone in my fucking body. Because I have figured out that really the magic potion, at least to my life, and it's very rewarding. Act like the person you want to become. That's not fake it till you make it, by the way. This is intentional. Intentionally act like the person you want to become. Because when you intentionally act like the person you want to become, your brain sees you taking those actions, so your brain starts to change the way it relates to you. Take full responsibility for what happens to you. It's one of the highest forms of human maturity, accepting full responsibility. It's the day you know you've passed from childhood to adulthood, the day you accept full responsibility. Here's the big challenge of life. You can have more than you've got because you can become more than you are. That's the challenge. And of course, the other side of the coin reads, unless you change how you are, you'll always have what you got. For me, there's nothing more motivating than the knowledge I'm going to die. Think of the prisoner in the cell and they're putting an X through every one because every X is one day closer to getting out. Well, let's do that for your life. Every X you spend doing nothing, that's a day you could have done something and you're gonna die one day. Yeah. And it's there on the calendar, okay? This would so motivate me as it does to be as productive as I can, as helpful as I can. Try to make a better world for your privilege of having lived in it. So if knowing you're gonna die brings meaning to your life, then living forever is honest. a life of no meaning at all. Damn. The fear, the fear is never reaching your potential. That's it. It always falling short, always quitting before you're done, always procrastinating, always yep. not doing the right thing. And then one day you're an old man. Yep. And you look back and go, God, I could have been great. Yep. I could have been great. I never forget one time I was running by a graveyard. You know, I was fucking just trying to become, I was fat. And I ran by a graveyard. I looked out there. And I have all these epiphanies, man. I have all these fucking moments of like, of, it's crazy, man, of, of this thought. Cause I'm always by myself. I'm always in deep fucking thought about how to be better. I look out there, I'm like, man, I wonder how many of you motherfuckers in there fucking just are so upset with how you lived your life. Mm. And fucking just regret how you lived it. And I'm running, a 300 pound man, thinking, man, don't fucking die like this, bro. Don't die like this.